about the painting itself as a painting, forgetting about its history. We're talking about what I would call a mid-period Hitchens, that's to say a, a painting that he painted between 1940 and 1960. Uh, it's already fully, his own, he'd already invented his own very, uh, very personal and in fact unique way of uh, rendering uh, <clears throat> landscape. Uh, and he was already, he'd already had many solo exhibitions, not only in e England, but abroad. And in this very year, 1956, uh, he was representing Great Britain at the Venice Biennale. So um, this isn't a, a Tyro's work at all. It's already, he's already in full flow. But there are two human figures in it, which is quite un totally unusual. It might be unique in a, in a landscape painting by Hitchens. And the two figures are Ted Float here, a woodsman, and his mate Peter, who are in the act of chopping down some chestnut trees to make stakes, and they've lit a fire here to keep themselves warm. Ted and Peter went off for lunch, leaving the fire burning. Hitchens arrived on the scene, saw the fire, got very worried because the whole area is very thickly forested, went home, which was only a couple of hundred yards away, filled his kettle, came back, doused the fire, and awaited these two uh, unsuspecting woodsmen who <laughs> Return, they were inc apparently incredibly nice. I would have been extremely annoyed if I, my fire had been put out by an interloper, not even on his own land. Um, Ivan was a cautious person and he took no risks. As far He may have taken risks in painting, but he took no risks in life. And he said that this fire could have destroyed not merely the forest, but his house and the paintings in it. So he had got a point, except that this fire had been in an in a open space which could not possibly have done any damage at all. Anyway, not only did the fire die down, but so did the animosity between the woodsman and Ivon Hitchens, to the extent that Ivon ended up by asking Ted whether he would come and do some work for him. <laughs>